Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, NVIDIA has just updated the NVIDIA broadcast software. We're at version 1.2.0.49. So yeah, it's a little bit updated. Uh, and this new version comes with a new feature of removing echo. So if you've enjoyed the noise removal uh, part about the software, they now have one that focuses more just on uh, removing echo that you can use in conjunction with the noise removal effect. So anyway, uh, this is not a review because this is beta software and a lot of the functionality is very beta in it. And sometimes it's buggy and sometimes you have to record this video twice because it didn't work the first time you record it. So yeah, this is a, uh, it's buggy software, but it, when it works, it works quite well. So anyway, uh, let's first talk about the camera and stuff. The camera effects seem to be all the same as it was before. They do seem to be uh, performing a little bit better. I notice uh, anywhere between about one, around 2% on average CPU load when using the camera effects. And I know this seems kind of odd that the camera visual portion of this software actually runs more on the CPU and whereas the audio portion runs on the GPU. Seems kind of backwards, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Maybe Nvidia can get that. The camera functionality to completely work just over the GPU eventually at some point, and that would be quite nice. Now the microphone uh, portion of it with the audio and stuff, uh, the noise removal, I normally use uh, between you know, 30 to 40%. I think right now it's at about 40% because I was having trouble earlier when I recorded at 30% as it started cutting out, which is kind of buggy. And so I keep looking over here at OBS, hoping that's not the case this time. So anyway, uh, like I said, they added the new echo noise removal effect, and it's very beta. Matter of fact, I noticed a little bit of issue when trying to use it, uh, that the 25% of uh, when you try and, you know, the effect strength out uh, at 25% seems like it was stronger than 100%. Uh, when I play back the clips, you just leave your comments down below. Uh, I think you'll notice that the 25% seems like hugely overprocessed, while 100% doesn't. 100% actually seems pretty decent for uh, noise removal. The problem is uh, when you use 100% noise removal on the regular noise removal uh, portion of the uh, software, that seems overprocessed, whereas the echo cancellation 100% seems fairly okay. Now, another thing I did notice before we uh, play the audio clips, when you move the string sl uh, slider, for example, on your noise removal or on the echo cancellation, they seem to be locked and only move together. I'll hopefully anybody is going to change this. They have a little chain link icon next to it. It's kind of grayed out. So hopefully that indicates that there, this would be a function that you can lock together or disable at some point. Cause, uh, I would like to be able to use say like 50% noise remove, uh, not noise, but echo removal among the 34%, uh, you know, noise removal would be a great combination for me. Uh, so hopefully they will unlink those. That said, let's play the audio clips and you let me know down in the comments below what you think. Hey everybody, Joe here. I am speaking into the non uh, sound treaty part of my office. As you can hear the echo. So this is a test to see how well the echo remover works in the NVIDIA broadcast software. A, B, C, one, two, three. Test, test, test. Hey everybody, Joe here. I am speaking into the non uh, sound treaty part of my office. As you can hear the echo. So this is a test to see how well the echo remover works in the NVIDIA broadcast software. A, B, C, one, two, three. Test, test, test. Hey everybody, Joe here. I am speaking into the non uh, sound treaty part of my office. As you can hear the echo. So this is a test to see how well the echo remover works in the NVIDIA broadcast software. A, B, C, one, two, three. Test, test, test. Hey everybody, Joe here. I am speaking into the non uh, sound treaty part of my office. As you can hear the echo. So this is a test to see how well the echo remover works in the NVIDIA broadcast software. A, B, C, one, two, three. Test, test, test. Hey everybody, Joe here. I am speaking into the non uh, sound treaty part of my office. As you can hear the echo. So this is a test to see how well the echo remover works in the NVIDIA broadcast software. A, B, C, one, two, three. Test, test, test.
Okay, everybody. So yeah, the 100% sounds pretty decent, but you can still hear just a little bit of echo in the background. While as the, uh, you know, obviously the 25% seems like hugely overprocessed to me. Like I said, it's buggy software. It seems like it's kind of backwards there for some reason. So anyway, uh, like I said, this isn't a review. It's just me kind of demoing this new feature in the software. And, but like I said, it, when it works, it works quite well. But hopefully NVIDIA can get the kinks worked out in the future. So anyway, that's it for this video over one. If you like this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you and let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.